Hello, I'm Tina Ward, Sales Support with Conic Systems. I'd like to share an overview of Conic Systems' cross-bank inquiry solution for duplicate and fraudulent payments. Cross-bank inquiry, or CBI, provides cross-bank identification of duplicates and fraud prior to presentment. RDC and mobile deposit increase the probability of duplicate and fraudulent payments being presented to different institutions for deposit. Due to item clearing processing, funds availability policies, and return or adjustment guidelines, depositors can withdraw these funds before duplicate and fraudulent payments can be charged back to their accounts. CBI enables financial institutions and payment processors to inquire against each other's duplicate and fraud detection systems to identify these transactions before presenting them to the owning bank for payment. The presenting institution then has the opportunity to prevent the withdrawal of funds based on the results of the inquiries. CBI is a distributed database solution where each financial institution maintains its own database and responds to payment validation inquiries from corresponding institutions. This provides the advantages of not having to create and maintain a large central database and giving the participating institutions more control over the information that they share. Crossbank Inquiry provides for evaluation of the payments in real time and supports both batch and item level processing. This chart shows a sample batch workflow for Crossbank Inquiry. The left hand side depicts the standard dupe or fraud detective workflow presented earlier. The right hand side shows how a presenting bank would inquire on a cooperative bank for any deposited items drawn on that bank. As the presenting bank ingests items into its detective database, it identifies any deposited items drawn on a cooperative bank and sends these items to the owning bank for early detection. The owning bank compares the items against its detective database to identify any suspects and applies its business rules and filters to automatically disposition items. The owning bank then returns the disposition code for each suspect back to the presenting bank. The presenting bank merges these suspects with the suspects drawn on its own accounts and applies its own business rules and filters for automatic dispositioning. The remaining suspects are reviewed and dispositioned by its operators. During suspect review, optionally, the detective system can retrieve images of matching items directly from the owning bank's image archives and, of course, retrieve images for any on us items from its own repositories. The disposition codes for each suspect are sent back to the designated system for final resolution, resulting in either the item going forward in the normal collection process, or being removed from downstream processing and charged back to the depositor, or a hole being placed on the funds for the depositing account. The cross-bank inquiry items are flagged as external inquiry or foreign items, so that this could be used as one of the criteria for business rule processing. This enables the presenting bank to handle foreign suspects differently from on us suspects. This chart illustrates a sample real-time workflow for cross-bank inquiry. In this case, the presenting bank performs its duplicate and fraud detection processing on the item first, and then if it is determined that it is not a suspect and it is not an on us item, the presenting bank would use the Connex Partners table to determine if the item is drawn on a participating bank. The presenting bank would send an inquiry to the owning bank via the respective messaging services. The owning bank would look up the presenting bank in its own partners table and then perform fraud and duplicate detection on the item and send the results back through the messaging services to the presenting bank. The owning bank wouldn't actually ingest the item into its fraud and duplicate system since this is just an inquiry. The item may or may not be presented later, depending on the action that the presenting bank ultimately decides to take. The external inquiry flag would be set for the item to identify it as a foreign suspect, so the business rules can use this as one of the criteria for decisioning the item per the presenting bank's specifications. The CBI switch technology facilitates communication between all participating or cooperative institutions. With the switch technology, each member maintains one control for communication with the switch. This covers communication with any other institution that communicates through the same switch. The diagram shows Bank A communicating through the switch with inquiries targeted at Banks C and D. Bank C and D both have Connex solutions installed. 
Institutions cannot not to use the switch. This is illustrated by Bank A and Bank B having a direct bank to bank communication. In this case, the institutions must maintain the controls needed for communicating with each other. Again, Bank B would have Connet's duplicate or fraud detection solutions. CBI Switch provides support for organizations to participate in the CBI network without installing Connex software. This enables maximum penetration of the CBI network across the financial and retail business communities. Any company that accepts financial payments and wants to validate those payments as soon as possible can benefit from the CBI network. Examples of non connex inquiring institutions are merchants, check cashing stores, and financial institutions that operate duplicate and fraud solutions provided by vendors other than Connex. Institutions that don't have Connex software installed or out of network institutions can initiate cross bank inquiries to a CBI switch via industry standard communication request. The out of network institution would operate its own software to inquire on the system. It would funnel its inquiries through the switch. The diagram shows an out of network inquirer sending an inquiry through the switch to bank A. Multiple switches can exist, in which case the switches would communicate through each other to access institutions serviced by other switches. Through cooperative efforts, financial institutions can capitalize on CBI to minimize risk, protect their clients, and increase revenue. That wraps up my overview of Connex's cross-bank inquiry solution. We welcome the opportunity to show you how this solution can help your institution. For more information, please contact Steve Fortson via the contact information provided here. We look forward to hearing from you soon.